Hey guys, it is Tuesday here in the Philippines, actually our first Tuesday of 2022. So we are doing an unboxing that probably should have been done last month. And if it would have been done last month, it would have probably made it as a contender in the quarter four top five. And that is the much anticipated Mustang Shelby GT500 for Mini GT. Um, that's kind of why I got this Ford GT setting bag out here. It's kind of like its counterpart. And since like Tuesday is supposed to be like two for Tuesday, figured I would do this. Two Fords for Tuesday. Both blue with white racing stripes. Ford GT doesn't really need any kind of... Uh, review we've done that quite a bit the past few days but this guy on the other hand does need a review this car uh, kind of got it a little bit earlier than what uh, this country is anticipating for this year I think they were anticipating late first quarter um, or maybe it was even supposed to be uh, released last quarter of 2021. I ordered this one from China. That way I could get it a little bit early. Uh, as I mentioned, we're getting ready to go back to the States, hopefully in the next month or so. And I want to gather as many mini GT new releases as I can, because I'm not sure how uh, accessible they're going to be in the States. I know eBay and I just need to find a trustworthy person and also they're probably much cheaper here than ordering from the state so that's why i've been trying to gather them as much as possible here but this car is absolutely gorgeous um they did a terrific job on this and uh i've had it out of the box looked at it and too bad i don't have my tarmac version still to do a comparison but i really think mini gt would win hands down uh, there would be really no comparison at all, in my opinion. Um, but I am a little bit biased with Mini GT stuff. So anyways, what we have here is your Mini GT Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in Ford Performance Blue. Just like the Ford GT is in Ford Performance Blue with white stripes. This guy also has white stripes. They look great together. I'm going to be doing some posts on Instagram shortly with both of them next to each other kind of a two for tuesday pick thing on instagram too and on facebook so make sure you check out the picks um so on the top side we have our collector number as usual 268 and this is where to find mini gt online and where to find them on social media such as facebook twitter and instagram so then on this end cap you have mini gt scale 164 this end cap is blank Bottom side has your age restriction and uh, recommendation, I should say, because it is a collector's model. Choking hazard warning for little kids. Then the back side has your QR code from Ford, scan and win, scan and play, something like that. Then you have Mini GT is a part of TSM model, that licensing thing, your TSM model holographic sticker, and also more Ford licensing stuff here. And this is Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 Ford Performance Blue left-hand drive. And yes, you can get these in RHD too. So if you favor to get like the Asian, like Japan, uh, Euro type release, then you can get it in RHD. So let's get this bad boy out and look at him. So as usual, they come in this cool little plastic tray to keep them from rolling around. And as I usually always mention, forgot to mention it this time, that's actually a pick of the die cast and not a one-to-one -one car. Um, so it's kind of hard to believe sometimes. And then there is the car out of the package. Beautifully done. Love this Ford Performance Blue with the white stripes. Looks great. And the Ford GT and the Ford GT500. They look really cool together. We'll do that later. Uh, but as you can see, it's even got your little snake on the front fender. The Shelby badge. Zoom in and get a closer look at that. If it will focus, there you go. So really nicely done. Nicely done wheels. A 
All the body lines are there. Very nicely done car. Black mirrors, they are rubber and durable. The louvered hood. You got your hood pins there too. The wipers are etched into the windshield. Your rear view mirror kind of mount there. Nicely detailed dashboard. You can see it is LHD, left hand drive. Acrylic headlight lenses. You got your Shelby Snake in the grill too, which is really cool. The mesh grill, nicely detailed on the top half and lower half. They continue the stripes on the front valence panel, which is really cool. You have your other air intakes under the headlights, which is a sweet feature too. And then turning around to the other side and looking at these wheels, the wheels are very nice and they do have treaded rubber tires. Um, nicely detailed undercarriage, as usual, metal base. And it is fastened together with button head Phillips screws. Nice muffler detail with the tailpipes and such. Very, very nice touch. So as you can see, all the window, like trim and everything is there. Very cool carbon fiber spoiler with the carbon insert pretty nice red acrylic tail light lenses and they are detailed the three-piece look your traditional mustang tail light and then you have your snake in the rear valence panel ford performance license plate and then the exhaust tips coming out the back end of the car just looks really mean um then overhead top shot of the car looks great and that front on front end view looks really good too. Really, really nicely done vehicle. Very happy to get this one. Um, as I said, it would have been nicer to have it last week. We could have actually probably put it into the fourth quarter final. It would have probably uh, phased out the S two thousand. And then this would have been a toughie, but this may even have won the American car of the year comparing it to like the Ford GT. Although the Ford GT is pretty nice, so it's hard to uh, exclude it and such. It looks like I got a little chip under the door handle. I don't think the other side is like that. No, it's not. So there is a little paint flaw there. Uh, then also the rear axle was bent a little bit, as you can see. So a couple little quality control issues with this car. Uh, nothing that major, but still when you're dealing with the higher end stuff, you definitely don't want any issues at all when I'm Paying even over five or six dollars for a car, it's really sad to see any quality control issues. And playing with the camera a little bit, I'm trying out a new camera stand today to try to do videos in a different way. So uh, bear with me. I think it's going to work out okay. Just kind of have to get used to the perspective I have to put stuff at and um, how I have to hold the cars and such. But I think I can get used to it. It's not so bulky. It kind of takes up a lot less room. So it may work out. Uh, just got to get used to it. So bear with me for a few videos, guys, and we'll get it down where we have no shakiness or anything like that later on. So this is the much-anticipated Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 from Mini GT, the first release of it. Um, and as I said, very nice-looking car. Um, and still a little concerned with some quality control things from Mini GT. As I've mentioned before, we've seen the white Nismo GT3 GTR that I unboxed. It was missing the Canard uh, front wings, and I had just criticized Time Micro over that, but that was the first Time Micro I bought, and it was missing one. This was like my 
70th GTR or something like that. Maybe not 70th, but like 60th GTR and like my 160th Mini GT car. And finally, it was missing a piece. That's the first one I've ever had missing pieces. Um, luckily, Hobby Stock is a stand-up hobby shop, and they let me exchange it for another one. But uh, coming back to like newer release stuff like we see this mustang has a bent axle we see that there may even be a little paint chip underneath the door handle which is really really hard to see i could even probably touch it up with a fine fine tip sharpie i don't even know if i can see it outside of the camera not zoomed in so that one's not a big concern because there may be paint falls on other cars that i do not see unless it's zoomed in with the camera but still yet even under a fine microscope it should still hold up and be 100 percent perfect because we are paying like 15 bucks each 10 to 15 bucks each for these cars so they do need to step up their quality control things so i know a couple other people have complained about svj roadsters i had an issue with the uh latest huracan with the Type 1 kit, with the gold wheels, with there being chips on the one rim. So, yeah, they're starting to slack on some quality control. I've seen some posts on uh, Insta, not Instagram, but uh, Facebook, in the Mini GT um, Club group, and somebody was complaining about a lot of flaws on the new Pagani Zonda F uh, model. So I got that one ordered, too. It should be here next week, so hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, still okay with the Mustang. As I said, just sad to see a couple flaws on it. But anyways, um, yeah, that's the problem with this stand too. It's a little bit delicate. Almost lost it there. <laughs> so anyways, uh, guys, that's it for today. I'm going to come back later on in the week and unbox some more mini gt stuff and it will probably be two or three cars together i've got the latest three gtrs coming the latest a90s coming uh then as i said the pagani the new r32 the new huracan lbwk and the matte gray the fighters work fighter works uh but it has a silhouette kit so we have those coming up so be sure to tune in and check that out and then we We'll be back probably Thursday or Friday to do another unboxing. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, highly recommend the Mustang. But as I said, check it over good when you get it. That way, if it does have any flaws, maybe you can get a better one. It's a shame that we have to worry about those type of things. But anyways, nice model overall, though. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you later this week. I left an icon here on the left for another unboxing video, and I left an icon here on the right for you to subscribe if you have not done so. Please do that and help support our channel. Thanks.